Well, we got some work today. Let's try this out. Hey, welcome to a new video. Uh, thanks for being here. Like, comment, subscribe. Today's gonna be an unboxing of the Max Air Fan Deluxe for your RVs with the remote and built-in rain cap. It's like the only one that's all, all included in one thing. It's a big box, let me grab it. Takes up a lot of space. But that's it right there. Max Fan Deluxe. Um, yeah, I got the white one, not the black one that's on the photo there. So, of course I will link this down below. And uh, see white lid. This is white lid right there. Um, Air Excel. So, I will grab the camera. We're going to look and read what the box says. Get it open. Look inside. Um, so here we go. So Max Fan Deluxe All-Weather RV Ventilator is model 7000K. Uh, white lid, Air XL. Let's spin it around this way. Industry exclusive rain shield protects your interior. Closes securely at a touch of a button. 12 volt. There is the remote. Shipped from Keystone, Texas to Amazon. Okay. So there's that side. There you go. Here's more of a uh, knowledge. So it's going to be a 10 speed. If you look on here, it's the 7000 white. 10 speed electric. So controls at ceiling. Thermostat. Intake and exhaust and remote control Temperature Two-way so forward and out that's cool electric or manual opening rain shield remote And I think that's it. So let's break into this box. Looks like it's had a rough journey getting here Yeah I think I'm just gonna cut the tape right here Thing is already open. This may have been a return. We'll see once we get in here. Well, so far it looks good. Um, this is upside down. Instructions hardware kit enclosed in this square tube. So you got your new screws. Instructions. The remote. Still nice and sealed. Battery still in their own little pack, so that's good. And the rest is just the fan itself, it looks like. Boxes. Hmm. That looks nice. Next fan. Got a nice plastic on it still. Of course, I didn't measure how thick our roof is to make sure this fits, but hopefully it's all okay. It's all pre-assembled. That's that's really cool. Let's look at the fan blade itself. There it is. Nice screen on it. 
You have the controls here. Yeah. Open, close lid, on off, in, out. Hold to set to 78 as auto. Got some wires here. Should be fun. Yep. Time to install. All right, let's look through these instructions. Maximum installs into a standard RV roof opening of 14 by 14. Determine your roof opening's correct size. Simply remove the interior ceiling garnish trim ring of your existing roof vent and measure the ceiling opening. To find the openings large enough by sliding the exterior garnish to there. Due to the exhaust intake louvers that face the rear of the vehicle, the Mexer requires a roof area clear of obstructions. Yeah, we're, we're good on top. Minimum roof thickness of 1 and 1 8 to a maximum of 6 and a half. If roof thickness is less than 1 8, build additional thickness at the ceiling opening using wood or other seed oil materials. Requires a minimum of 12 volt DC 5 amp service. Confirm that the circuit you intend to use will accommodate the additional load. Circuit must be fused. It must use the proper gauge stranded wire for electrical connections. Nice. What else we got in here? To your warranty information on the opening. Oh, see, that's not our model. Keypad controls for no, that's not this one. Information operating guide, that's us. Insect screen, retainer knob. Keypad controls, automatic opening. Ceiling gun, serial number, label, note, designed to be fully opened or fully closed when the vehicle is moving. Here we go, this is us. Uh, no, this one, right here. In and out, auto, on, off, open, closure. Reverses it, that's cool. Where's the install instructions? That's, that's the question. And it's gonna have to be on YouTube. No install instructions. Operation guides, that's it. Yeah. So it's time to pull up the video on how to do this. I know I got some self-leveling caulk to go with it, so let's let's watch the video. Almost done. Just getting the rest of this off right here. Which is the hard part. The roll method I found is works pretty good. The roll method works. So it works, it works nice. Be sure about this gray stuff they put on from the factory. Okay, got all the caulking off. I'm gonna wipe it down real quick with some alcohol. Then we'll go from there. Yeah, so we had to replace this because of the, um, the arm broke off. The arm broke off right here from the lid. The medic and it, and it sprung a leak. Not good. Use this stuff. Put it all around this edge here. The butyl tape. And that should seal it really nice. We had to cut this trim piece just so it will fit our roof correctly. We knocked off about what, two inches off, something like that. Yeah. So that's yeah, easy. This is thin plastic. So I've got 16 screws in. See the caulk's coming out. I put caulking around the edges on underneath and then in the screw holes. So it's all coming through. Now I'm just going to caulk on top of this top of the screws I guess. There it is, fully installed. Yep, that'll work. So there it is running. So it has a remote. Turn down the speed. Has turn settings, it's on air out. If you hit this button, it'll say air in. Well, it didn't uh, actually do it though. But now it will. Just bring the air in. Let's go to full speed. You can see how loud it is. Decimals on the watch. Look at that. Six. 
go back to air going out. See any noise difference? 100% again. I think that's a little bit more. Nice. That's really cool. So that's it. That's the install, the unboxing, sort of a, a test. I think it's really nice. We went from a not very good, um, fantastic, Dometic Fantastic DV1400 fan that I could never find parts for or a new dome. So it was vital we get something new for this winter season. So this one is really nice. I really enjoy it. I will link it down below. It cost me $3.65 plus tax on Amazon. The link will be there. We'll say that at the end, the install was pretty simple. Um, most people said it took about an hour. We spent about two hours playing around with it. We had to hacksaw the white cover or the white trim piece for the, from the inside. Um, hours came with the butyl tape already on it, so it was really sticky. Uh, getting it off was kind of hard, but you just rolled the... Uh, old um caulking that was there it, it came off nice so it all turned out really nice uh, i will update in the future if we have any problems with it i will say though that this one is like a separate fan from the trim piece so if your fan does mess up you can just buy a new fan and just replace it without having to take off the roof part again so that's a win-win anyways thanks for being here like comment subscribe till next one bye bye Boop, boop.